First Mover Asia, crypto liquidity providers can be profitable by considering trade volume, volatility and other factors, data firm says. Also Ether falls but still outperforms Bitcoin for another day as investors look hopefully at the Shanghai upgrade. Good morning, here's what's happening, prices Ether holds near dollar one. 9k ahead of the Shanghai upgrade, Bitcoin hovers near $28k insights. Becoming a successful crypto liquidity provider requires an active approach that considers trade volume, volatility and other factors. Prices, either inches down but bests Bitcoin either dropped on Thursday but continued this week's trend of outperforming Bitcoin. The second largest cryptocurrency was recently holding steady a few dollars shy of the $1900 perch it assumed Wednesday down 1% over the past 24 hours but up more than 5% from the start of the week when it was lingering below $1800. Investors seem increasingly enamored by the Shanghai hard fork, which is slated to occur on April 12. The upgrade, also called Shapella, will mark the completion of Ethereum's full transition to a proof-of-stake POS network and enable staked ETH withdrawals. This hard fork will allow people to withdraw from their validator balance into their Ethereum balance, which is great for increased liquidity across the market and accessibility for those that trade in staked Ether. Victoria Bills, chief investment strategist at financial services firm Banarian Capital Management, told Coindesk TV's First Mover program. And one thing that we can probably expect from that is an increase in activity across the chain when it comes to Ethereum. To be sure, some Ether observers say the impending unlocking of ETH deposited in the network to boost security in return for rewards will spur a rush of token liquidations. But others maintain that the event could prove bullish for Ether because sticking and capturing yields directly from the blockchain will become more accessible. This is an amazing opportunity for Ether and even has shown for its year-to-date high up, Bill said. As it continues to become more of liquid and more accessible, we'll probably be seeing a lot more of that asset being traded. Bitcoin recently dipped below $28,000 off about 2% after spending much of the day above this threshold as it has for most of the last three weeks. The largest cryptocurrency in market capitalization has held steady as investors ponder multiple signs of economic contraction and potential aftershocks of the recent banking crisis. Other major cryptos were recently in the red, albeit lightly shaded. Popular memecoin Doge, a big winner after Twitter replaced its blue bird logo atop its homepage with the crypto's Shiba Inu dog emblem, tumbled more than four. 5%. Equity markets closed, mixed with the Dow Jones Industrial Average GIA ticking up at the tech-heavy Nasdaq and S&P 500 drop 1% and 0.2%, respectively. Banarian's bills noted that Bitcoin's price has steadied as the banking turbulence has subsided. Bitcoin had a shoot up through the roof when we had a lot of turmoil, and then we're seeing it kind of come back to a more steady state around 28k, she said. Insights. The keys to becoming a successful crypto liquidity provider A new research report that crypto data firm Amber Data shared with Coindesk says that providing token liquidity to decentralized finance DeFi applications could be more lucrative than simply holding those tokens. Liquidity providers are investors who stake their cryptocurrency tokens on DXs to earn transaction fees, usually in the form of token rewards. Providing liquidity to crypto markets remains a key pillar of the ecosystem with tens of billions of dollars supplied by users to smart contracts. But becoming a successful liquidity provider is not as simple as passively depositing assets into a pool and waiting to earn a profit. LPs must address dreaded and permanent loss, smart contract risks and exploits. The Amber Data report provided a detailed analysis of four Uniswap version 2 pools, focusing on their behavior and performance metrics. The analysis compared the DAI DAI and Ether ETH with the Ether ETH and USD coin US pools, which both involve trading ETH against a stable coin. It also compared the DAI and USK liquidity pair with the DAI and Tether S pair, which involves trading different stable coins against each other. The report found that there were significant differences in the capital efficiency and profitability of Uniswap VWO pools. The ETH slash USK pool had higher capital efficiency compared to the DAI slash ETH pool, while the DAI slash USK pool had significantly higher capital efficiency than the DAI slash USK pool. This was due to differences in liquidity among stablecoin pairs that could be attributed to factors such as market demand, availability, and investor sentiment. The demand for a particular stablecoin as a trading pair can influence the liquidity and trading volume in a pool, and therefore impact capital efficiency and profitability. Additionally, investor sentiment toward a particular stablecoin, such as trust in its stability or market performance, can also impact liquidity and trading volume. For traders interested in providing liquidity, Amber Data said that the factors to consider are the total value lock TVL of a pair, the number of trades or trading volume per day of the pair, and the characteristics and volatility of the asset itself. Our final takeaway is that providing liquidity on Uniswap VWO may be a profitable strategy for those who are looking 
for a safer way to hold crypto assets, Amber Data Analyst said. LP strategies perform well in choppy market conditions and do not have significant differences from holding the assets during upward and downward trends. Important events, 9.30 a.m. HGT slash SGT1, 30 UTC Australia trade balance MOM slash February 8.30 p.m. HGT slash SGT1230 UTC Canada unemployment rate March 7.50 a.m. HGT slash SGT2350 UTC Japan overall household spending yo y slash February Coindesk TV. In case you missed it, here is the most recent episode of First Mover on Coindesk TV. Ether jumps to nine month high ahead of Shapala. CD's future of finance global head on CBDC First Mover dove into the crypto markets ahead of Shapala, a portmanteau of Shanghai and Capella. Two major Ethereum network upgrades expected to occur simultaneously on April 12. Victoria Bills, Barian Capital Management's chief investment strategist, joined the conversation. Ron Echo's future of finance global head at CD explained why the potential of blockchain will be measured in billions of users and trillions of dollars in value. Plus, Kamenu CEO Nicholas Bertrand discussed the cryptocurrency custody joint venture of Namira, Ledger and CoinShares. Headlines Happy 48th birthday, Satoshi Nakamoto, we love you, but we don't miss you. Coindesk's Ethereum validator enters final weeks, sitting on more than $30k of gains, to better chronicle the Ethereum blockchain's transition to a proof-of-stake network. Coindesk started its own validator. We plunked down the 32 ETH roughly $15k at the time and laid the technical groundwork. With staking withdrawals due to start April 12, we take stock of the project. Dogecoin futures set record after Twitter adopts token's dog logo. Open interest, which can be used to determine market strength behind price trends, jumped to all-time highs in Dogecoin terms. Developers fork Uniswap v3 protocol attracts $123M in total value locked. The majority of value is locked on Binance. Smart Chain BSC. Ethereum Shanghai upgrade could bring dollar two. 4B selling pressure to Ether observers. The 1 million instantly withdrawable Ether has become a point of concern for the market. 